Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brian from Navi Upgrade, and this is my buddy Evan with his 2013 Focus ST. This is like one of the first Focus STs, which is really cool, uh, at least in North America. So uh, today what we're gonna show you how to do is we're gonna show you how to bleed your brakes using Forescan. So uh, we're gonna be using this OBD Link EX adapter and a Windows laptop and just your standard bleed tools and some open-ended wrenches and we're gonna teach you how to do it right now. <laughs> All right, so we're also gonna recommend that you use a battery charger or a battery tender to make sure your battery stays charged while we modulate the ABS system. Let's do this. All right, so after learning how to use this thing, we've got it plugged in now, and we're gonna hold this for three seconds. One, two, three, and it should go on a 12 volt power supply mode. There we go, we're on a 12 volt pa power supply mode and we can just plug in just like that. And there we go, now we're gonna go inside and connect the car to Forescan. All right, now that we're in the car, we're going to start Forescan. And we're going to plug in uh, to our OBD port down here. You might get a no ELM found. If that happens, just click OK and rescan again once it's connected. All right, we're connected. And this is a 2013 vehicle, so we're gonna select 2013. And we're gonna wanna make sure that the vehicle's turned on. All right, we're gonna give this profile a name. This is gonna be Evans ST. I'm gonna save it. And just to make the stop beeping at me, I'm gonna close the door and roll down all the windows. So the next thing that we're going to do is once we're ready, we're gonna go into service functions and we're gonna hit uh, ABS service bleed. But let's go get ready on the outside. So as you can see here, we're starting at the passenger rear of the car because that's the farthest from the master cylinder. What we're going to do is we're going to put our 10 millimeter socket onto our bleeder nut. All right, now we're going to go onto the inside of the car and work with Forescan. All right, so now that we're back in the vehicle and we have a friend ready to bleed the system down at the brake, what we're going to do is we're going to go into service procedures, which is this wrench icon right here, and we're going to click ABS service bleed. We're gonna click play, and to make our lives easier, we're just going to go into and say that we replace the brake hose here, and we're going to choose uh, rear right, okay and uh, I'm gonna have Evan open the bleeder screw. Open. And we're gonna click OK. And that's the ABS module modulating. All right, you can close the rear screw. Closed. And we're gonna click OK. And now we have to wait 45 seconds. All right, now that Evan's on the driver rear side, we're gonna go back into service procedures. We're going to go into ABS service bleed again. We're gonna click uh, brake tubes again. Oops, sorry. We're gonna click uh, brake uh, hose again, right there. Gonna click OK, rear left. And Evan, you can open it. Just a second. All right, and... Open. All right, it's open, we can click OK. All right, close it. Closed. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna check our fluid level in our reservoir. All right, so now what we're doing is we're checking the reservoir level, and it's pretty low, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fill that up real quick. All right, so now we're just gonna lift up here and pour. All right, we're good there. Put the cap back on, 
and we're gonna move over onto the passenger front brake. All right, so now Evan's over on the driver's side getting the uh, outer one, getting the outer bleeder valve ready. All right, we're gonna go back into service procedures, ABS service bleed again, brake hose, okay. And uh, we're just gonna choose front left and you can open it. Open. And you can close it. Cool. All right, that's closed. And let's just do a quick check on the uh, fluid level. The first time I did this, I ran out of fluid and it sucked. Oh yeah, that really sucks. That'll really mess you up. Uh, good enough for this last one. Yep, all right. All right, now Evan's gonna go get his inner bleeder valve ready. Now we're gonna go back into service procedures again. ABS service bleed, uh, brake hose again, and we're gonna click front left. And uh, Evan, you can open that. Open. Open, okay. Closed? Closed. All right. So I might have been a moron and not recorded the uh, passenger side front, but that's okay. It's the same procedure. You just do uh, uh, passenger rear, driver rear, passenger front, driver front in the same kind of way that we did everything else and you'll be fine. All right, so now that's done, we're just gonna take off our uh, thing here, turn it off and uh, set it aside and I'm gonna start the car and see how the brakes feel. All right, so what's weird is if you do bleed manually, you'll notice that when the car's off, you're gonna have a very nice hard pedal feel. But when the car's on, it's gonna go almost all the way to the floor and that's the ABS system. So what we've done is we've made the ABS system bleed the brakes for us so that it's actually perfect and there's no air in the line, so. All right, so with the car off, Oh man, the pedal is so firm. It feels so good. Now uh, let's check how it feels uh, with the car on. So we're gonna push our clutch in. Clutch feels good. We're not in gear, so we're good there. And uh, pedal feels really good. It doesn't go anywhere near to the floor. It, uh, it feels nice and, and solid. I'm gonna let Evan come in here and see what he thinks though. Let's see what you think. I, I mean, you should be able to feel a difference because it was not good. <laughs> is that like night and day or? Holy crap. Is that way better? That's amazing. So it was like going to the floor, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, <laughs> and now it doesn't, which I is good. I wanna go drive it. You wanna go drive it? Yeah, we let's just throw go. some wheels on it and go, go drive it real quick. No, let's put cinder blocks on it. Yeah, cinder blocks. <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> All right, so we're doing a start. We're gonna take it for a spin. Yeah, shut up. He's got a race uh, race pads on. They're a little squeaky. Breaking procedure, really, because we just did fluid. That's all we did. So, didn't do pads or anything like that. So, all right, ready? Yeah. Eee. Oh, it actually stops. Does it feel good? It feels so much better. <laughs> of course. That's awesome. tracking this car before. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so 
shit, I'm just gonna like pull one out. <laughs> Green light. I want a red light, damn it! <laughs> Break late? <laughs> oh, what the f was that? Damn, pothole. <laughs> damn. Send me through the windshield. Now you can hear the squeak. Yeah. I want to do, at this stop light, uh -huh. or stop sign, I want to do like 100%. All right, we're gonna do 100% on this one. <laughs> God damn, I stalled. <laughs> <laughs> You want to do yours? Maybe. Yeah, sure. yeah. All right, I'll pull behind you. Whoa, no front license plate? <laughs> I haven't run for a front license with a front license plate for like, since I got the car. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs>